In the account tutorial, we will discuss how to create and activate a Secure Access Washington account, how to access your Secure Access Washington account if you have one already, how to retrieve a forgotten user ID or reset your password, how to register for a client benefit account, also known as a CBA, which allows you to view information about your benefits. Creating a Secure Access Washington account, also known as a SAW account, has many benefits, such as the ability to save your progress when completing an application or renewal, resume a saved application or renewal, view a summary of the forms you have started or completed in the last 90 days, create a client benefit account to see the status of your benefits. To create a Secure Access Washington account, hold your cursor over the Create Account menu and click Create New Account. On the Create a New User Account page, you're asked to provide the following information. Your first and last name, an accessible email address. You may enter an additional email address and mobile phone number, which can be used later to verify your identity when logging in. After providing a valid accessible email address, enter your desired user ID and password. As you begin creating your password, the password requirements change to green check marks indicating when each password requirement is met. Re-enter your password. Then type the word you see in the picture. If you are not sure about any of the letters, you can click the blue Refresh button and try again. Click Next and you will see the New User Account status page. Follow the instructions and open your confirmation email from your inbox. In the email, you will see your user ID and the activation link. You must activate your account by clicking the link in the confirmation email before you can sign in. The link is created specifically for your account. If you create an account but did not use the link in the confirmation email to activate the account, go to the Create Account menu and click Activate Your Account. On the Activate Account page, enter your username and the confirmation code from the email sent to you when your account was created. Once you have successfully logged into your account, the first page that displays is the summary page. This page lists all the online forms you have started or completed in the last 90 days. Also, you will notice a logout button displays with your name in the upper right hand corner of the page. If you already have an existing Washington Connection account, hold your cursor over the login menu, then click access your account. From the login page, enter your user ID and password, then click Submit. If you have forgotten your user ID, click the Forgot My User ID link. If you have forgotten your password, click the Reset My Password link. If you click the Forgot My User ID link, the Forgot My User ID page appears. Enter the email address provided when you first registered your Washington Connection account. Type the word you see in the picture. If you are not sure about any of the letters, you can click the blue Refresh button and try again. Click Next and all user IDs associated to your email address will be sent to you. Then, go back to the Washington Connection login page. If you click the Reset My Password link, the Reset Password page appears. Enter the user ID associated to your Washington Connection account. Enter the email address used when your SAW account was registered. Please note that if you no longer have access to the email address used when the account was registered, you will not be able to reset your password and will need to create a new SAW account. Type the word you see in the security box, then click Submit. A temporary password is sent to the email address used when the account was registered. When you are logged into your account, the My Account menu appears. From the My Account menu, you can view the summary page by clicking Access My Account. To view detailed information about your benefits, click My CBA. To update account profile information such as your name, email, and security question, 
click My Profile. Click the My CBA Now to access your client benefit account. If you have not registered for your CBA, the Client Benefit Account Registration page appears. You must enter your information exactly how Department of Social and Health Services has it in their file. Please note your zip code must be for your residential address, not your mailing address. You must also include your DSHS Client ID. If you have a recent letter from DSHS, look at the top portion of the letter to find your Client ID. Also, Enter your name exactly how it appears on the letter. If you do not have this information, you will need to contact DSHS to request it. Once you have entered the information, click Next. Once you successfully register, you will receive a message that your CBA has been successfully registered. Before you can access your CBA, you must also check for the confirmation email and follow the steps on how to activate your CBA account. Once you have activated and logged into your CBA, detailed information about your benefits display such as important dates like when an eligibility review or mid-certification review is due, current benefits, benefit history, household summary, documents submitted, and on the My Benefit Contacts page, you can find whom to call if you have any questions about your benefits. For additional help creating your SAW or CBA, click on the How Do I option from the Washington Connection homepage. When you click on the selection, a separate window opens with step-by-step -step instructions. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to apply for or renew benefits on the Washington Connection site. Please keep in mind a renewal is commonly referred to as an eligibility review. From the Washington Connection homepage, click Apply Now to begin a new application, or click Renew My Benefits to begin an eligibility review. The process to complete each option is the same. On the Introduction page, a message appears asking if you have created a Secure Access Washington SAW account. Creating a SAW account allows you to save and finish incomplete applications later. By creating a SAW account, you can also view the status of your submitted application. Click the Close button to proceed. The Introduction page shows a list of information you may need to provide during the application or renewal process. If you are logged into an account, the information you enter is automatically saved after each page and kept for 90 days. Click the Next button to start the process. The following page has important information for you to review prior to submitting your application or renewal. After reviewing the information, click Next. On the Zip Code page, Make note of the red tracking number located in the top right-hand corner. The tracking number can be used by DSHS to locate your submitted document. Enter the residential zip code. Then click Next. After you answer all the questions, you are taken to the Summary page. The Summary page gives a quick overview of the information you entered. If you need to make changes to any of the sections, click the Edit button next to the section title. If you would like to save your application and go back to it later, click the Save and Finish Later button. Once you're finished, click Next. If you selected Cash or Food Benefits, your Rights and Responsibilities display. Select Yes or No to indicate if you have read and understood this information. Then click the Next button. If you selected Cash or Food Benefits, the Your DSHS Cash or Food Benefits page displays. Select Yes or No to indicate if you have read and understood this information. Then click the Next button. The Electronic Signature page displays a list of programs you have selected. Read the State Federal Program Declaration. If you decide you do not want to include a specific program, you can uncheck the box next to the program name. Then select Yes or No to indicate if you want to submit your information. In the Certification and Electronic Signature section, you are required to enter your name and the name of any other adult applicant. Then type the word you see in the picture. If you are not sure about any of the letters, you can click the blue Refresh button. By entering your name and the word displayed in the picture, you are electronically signing your application or renewal. When you are finished, click Submit. If the submission was successful, the Confirmation page displays. To print a copy of the confirmation page, click Print This Page. 
If you want to print out a copy of the information that was submitted, click Print Your Application. For information on what happens after you submit your application or renewal, read the section What are the next steps? From the Confirmation page, you can also complete a customer or community partner survey.
Thank you.